an 11-page letter to be published in a German magazine for priests, Pope Benedict said that the scandal is the fault of sexual revolution of the 1960s and more liberal sexual ethics. Catholic League's Bill Donahue thinks the letter is wonderful. Thank God we still have him as the seminal voice um, to guide us. He is indispensable. So, okay, basically what, what this is summarizing is Pope Benedict somehow still running his mouth uh, and saying terrible, disgusting things, is saying that the the child abuse scandal in the Catholic Church actually needs to be blamed on the sexual revolu- revolution of the 60s. When pedophilia has been happening long before the 60s, child right? It, what's that? Child molestation, not, not pedophilia. Okay. Both, really. Right. But, yeah, but, but, <laughs> yes. but the problem is more than just pedophilia. It's child molestation. Child molestation has been going on long since before the 60s. Um, and so Pope, Pope, Benedict, uh, Pope Benedict trying to make these accusations, trying to uh, throw different reasons out as to why the church shouldn't be blamed. This is just disgusting. Um, and and not only that, but he's also confused uh, in, the, in the past before he's confused gay people with child molesters as well. So, um... I don't way to take responsibility like what the f- I mean okay you know what keep talking this guy should keep talking okay <laughs> because this is great just keep just embarrass the Catholic Church right like I, I we need this guy like I want this guy to be constantly speaking about all the problems in Catholic Church so more Every time more- he does he embarrasses the Catholic yeah, Church. keep doing that like I mean come on like do we even have to I mean I really think like we're insulting our audience if we talk about how fucking moronic this comment is, right? Like, right. but, but it, I mean, oh. but if people, I want more Catholics to hear this because I'm pretty sure even some Catholics are like listening to this are like, what the fuck? These people are not solving. They're not even trying to solve every, anything. They're not even like, they don't even want to take responsibility for anything they always point the thing like they think they think so highly of themselves they can't even imagine but you know what the beauty of this thing is that as much as we talk shit about the you know the catholic church and like these people don't solve anything it just amazes me that this guy actually just writes this and puts it out publicly like he doesn't like he must live in a like a bubble or something to think like this is a good idea let me just put this out there or does it it must they must know that it does resonate with their with their community right which is alarming like it you, we point at this and they're like oh my god these people haven't even started the even the first fucking step to take to to hold themselves accountable for all the harm that they have done like they haven't even started. No, and people want to give them credit and try to give them credit, especially for doing this um, this seminar that they held at the beginning of the year, which was absolute bullshit. The only reason why they held that um, to make everybody think that they were actually doing something to stop the pe- the child molestation within their church, and somehow um, pointed out to me the difference between pedophilia and child molestation. I understand that. Uh, I've been saying pedophilia, 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 because that's the way the article is um, right, right. is worded. Um, but so so they haven't even tried to address the issue with child molestation in their church. They haven't even tried it. And they keep throwing up these smoke bombs saying, look, people, look at how we're trying. Look at how we're trying. When they're not actually doing anything about it. Okay, okay. But, but I'm getting angry. Getting... Do you have headphones on? Yeah. Okay. So, but but I want us to like, okay, everybody has, this news has gotten a lot of attention and a lot of people have pointed out how fucking ridiculous this is. But I want to, I want to talk about something else is that this guy, he can't be an idiot, right? Like he became the Pope. Becoming the Pope in, it requires a lot of politics and strategy and sometimes backstabbing, right? So he can't be... He must know that within within our world, we look at this and we're like, oh my God, what the fuck? But he wouldn't put this out there 
if he didn't understand his own community, right? right. This must work within with in his community for him to put this out there. To me, we should if he's putting this out there, we if, to me that raises the alarm about not just this guy, but the Catholic community that something like this resonates with them, right? Another thing is that I think they're, they're playing, this is a f few times that we have like uh, a Pope and a Pope light at the same time, right? So we have like double, we're being double poped, but it, it's, they kind of play, are playing good cop, bad cop on us, right? Because the so-called good Pope that a lot of atheists uh, have been supporting He's also like making excuses. Uh, the current pope is making excuses for all this bullshit, right? Like they come and have this huge gathering and like, oh yeah, you gotta have a gathering. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna open the files to the police and bring in an investigator, investigators and have people out with handcuffs and you know, what is gonna happen? Oh, we're gonna invoke the Holy fucking Spirit. Like, that's, that's going to solve right. everything. And now everyone goes home like, yep, we're addressing it. And you go to churches and you talk to the Catholics. And like, are you, are you still donating to the church? And they're like, yeah. And like, why? You guys are you guys are actually funding the protection of child molesters. I'm like, no, but they're addressing it. Like, so when, they, when, when all these Catholics keep saying, but they're addressing it, to me, sh it shows that both the current Pope and the previous book, the things that they're saying, to us it sounds ridiculous, but it's working. It's working among Catholics. So they know what they're doing. They're not idiots. I mean, right. they're idiots about believing in gods and stuff, but politically they're very strategic about what they're doing. Yuval is saying, interestingly enough, the establishment opposing sex revolution and gays is supposed to be, according to this former pope, more affected from it. Oh yeah, <laughs> you sh you, how is it? <laughs> That's a very good point. How is it that you guys are infected by it? You guys should have been, weren't you being protected by the Holy Spirit? Will Philly, Will Philly is saying, yes, popes live in a bubble where they've uh, with their cutoff from the real world, it's called uh, Vatican City. Um, all right, let's see what the top comment here is. Deborah is saying, "Don't they all take a vow of celibacy?" Um, yeah, but it doesn't matter. If you're a Catholic, you could do whatever the fuck you want. You could commit genocide, and you go in this cute in this wooden small little place and you talk like hey i committed genocide sorry and like okay um you know 1000 mother you know hail marys and you're good so you could do whatever you want this is how it works uh you get you if you're a catholic you have a license to sin uh gary is saying if he just offered an un an unconditional apology and admitted uh, that celibacy is one of the major causes, then he may just have a small bit of credibility. He should just fuck off now, and someone with authority should point out the truth to uh, to the innocent uh, bystander. You know, this is, you know, okay, even, the, f the interesting thing is that even if they came out and like, we're sorry, we're sorry, we're sorry, we should still be like, go fuck off, you guys, you guys have, yeah. you guys have been, cover you know protecting this for way too long but they're not even doing that okay they're not even doing that like anything short of a full invasion of vatican with uh with you know with an army with an international back support army of vatican going and arresting everybody holding everyone in custody until everything is investigated um, anything short of that is to me is is fucking bullshit. Jamie is saying standard operate operating procedure deny everything, accuse the victims of being liars, defect, deflect blame. Yeah, exactly. Um, Jack is saying I've seen this working against them in some of the younger generation. Older folk go with it, but younger folks dive deeper. But Jack, they're actually very much smarter than that. They they know that they're losing their demographic in Europe and North America. But they, they are so smart. Like, people don't understand how strategic they are. They're going for different places. 
they, they're like, okay, we need to grow in Philippines. We need to grow in Brazil. They're growing in fucking, they're growing in Bahrain for fuck's sakes. And then the, when these Arab countries are so desperate for some international credibility, they go to the Catholic Church. Even even in countries like Saudi Arabia, they are they are growing. Um, and they, they, they uh, uh, Saudi Arabia is desperate from for credibility, so they're allowing it. Um, and and the Pope is desperate for growth. The Vatican is desperate for growth, so they, there's a weird alliance right now between them. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.